Mm. Hi guys. Good afternoon, Shamian. Here from Food by Shamian. I hope all is well. Today I'm going to do a no churn ice cream for you all. What is no churn? No churn is meaning exactly what it says. You don't need a machine, an ice cream maker, to do this ice cream, right? The flavor I'll be making today is chocolate, uh, mint chocolate chip. You see, I have my pure peppermint extra, right? Because you want intense mint flavor there. And I have my semi or semi sweet chocolate chip, right? I'm about to start. I have my salt, I have my condensed milk. It calls for buttermilk. No, sorry, I'm saying the wrong thing. Heavy cream. I don't have heavy cream. I make my own, right? I'm going to um, put in the description box after the live what you will need and the measurements for this uh to make your heavy cream you can also purchase heavy cream for your at the supermarkets you know if you so desire it's up to you right but it's pretty easy to make it's just a mixture of butter it's just a mixture of butter and whole milk or full cream UHD milk, right? It's what I use. So I'm about to start now. You will need a blender. I just want to touch on something before I start. We know when we are buying chocolate uh, mint ice cream or chocolate chip mint ice cream, it's always of a bright, vibrant green, right? Uh, a lot of times persons eat with their eyes first. So if even you are saying it's... Uh, mint and it isn't green people wouldn't really know persons wouldn't really know that it is mint from the time they see that green they associate it somehow with uh, either pistachio or mint automatically and we didn't and for some reason well the plant mint it is green but when you are thinking mint candies it isn't green right so i just needed to cover that with you all well, you all are seeing the brand so it's going to save me i won't have to explain the brand of extract it's not it's not essence it's extra i won't have to explain the brand of extra that I'm using and it's also a non GMO extra it's also free of corn syrup and it's gluten free right so I'm just going to start I'm just I'm just going to start this second right so first let me just put in my use a, tr a conventional blender or the emulsion ones the handheld ones if you don't have if you don't have the electric one or you have the emulsion one, use either, all right? But just be, be careful to use it in a bowl that's shatterproof. By shatterproof, I mean it won't be able to break or so forth, right? And the temperature of our ingredients, it doesn't matter. Because in any event, the ice cream needs to go to set in, the, in your freezer. Right? So you might not have this blender. A lot of persons took in this time use this right so you might own this what is known as the emulsion blender right and you might just use it in a shatterproof bowl like i said if you need green food coloring and you don't have you can mix remember when we mix colors in school you can mix it to get your green right which is blue and yellow so don't make it a issue you might just happen to have these colors on hand already I'm going to show you all live. I'm going to show you all live demonstration of how to get. I'm just using a bit of yellow food coloring. I'm gonna use a bit of the blue for you all to see if you don't have this on hand and you might have these two colors. You can make it for yourself. Or if even you are not able to to access the um you are not able to access the green. You see what happened before your eyes? So it's as simple as that. You get green that way, right? So I'm moving on. Let me call out what you will need one time for the um, to make your own heavy cream. So I'll call it out now versus having to write it in the comments, right? So you will need to make your own heavy cream, which is what is needed for, for no churn ice cream. You will need two, two cups of UHG full cream milk or whole milk if you live internationally and one third cup of melted and salted butter and that measurement i just called there gives you exactly one cup of cream right so in here i have four cup of cream 
I'm going to start by putting my cream in my uh, my blender. The butter just sits on the surface of it. That's all it does. So what I do, I just blend it first. Before I even go further, I just give it a blend. If you are now joining, you will have to go back and look at the live to hear all that I covered, right? And if you are here, thank you for joining. When I'm running the blender, you all won't be hearing me because it's going to drum up my token in any event, right? Let me just make sure it's on there properly. Right? So, yeah. Let me just do one more and then I'm going to combine the other ingredients. So that's that you want to use um remember what flavors i'm using right so i'm going to put a bit of salt in there it's very necessary salt goes in a lot of desserts it balances out the flavor very nicely you might not believe it but salt is in a lot of sweet stuff okay i'm using my stonewall kitchen brand salt it's a grinder it's, it's main sea salt by the way you don't want it salty you just want it good and remember when we used to make uh homemade ice cream back in the day how much salt you had to put in the pillars you all remember that that's some serious memories there for a lot of you all real nostalgic memories i just brought back there right so i'm going to put in my one can of sweetened condensed milk the brand isn't important find a brand that you love and that you are comfortable with um at times I tried this recipe with two cans of, of milk, condensed milk, and it was a bit too sweet. Even if it's dessert, you don't want to overdo it. I always speak about healthy balance with food, right? You want to hear me speak time and time again when I'm using this tool, which is an electric can opener. I say hold on to it because it snaps, right? So I always ask you all to hold, hold on tightly to it if you own one. So you're going to empty the entire contents into the air. I just need to get my my uh, spatula to get out all and I'm going to uh, blend again it's a bit messy looking but don't worry about it it's so easy to make and it's so good ice cream it's like premium tasting ice cream right I'm right here, I don't think I've gone and um, I went anywhere, I missed it. I'm just washing it, I can't have it. A quick tip, you can keep your, um, it's better, it's, the temperature is much better if you put it in a bread pan or loaf pan if you live internationally, right? So, let me just wipe my blender, I don't like how it's looking, I can't handle mess yeah so put your loaf pan to chill if you know you're about to do this follow this demo get your bread pan or loaf pan to chill in advance the colder the better for you right right so now i'm going to just get it combined right so you won't be hearing me I don't need to go for any long periods of time right so i'm about to add my extra now i'm leave it on at that simple it's finished just for me to add the extract and the coloring don't go berserk with the extract you want nice balance right and then you remember these things are pure so you want to start with probably about this is what it looks like when it's open You want to use probably the scent, the, uh, the uh, scent of it is very intense. As you open it, it fills the kitchen. I'll show you how clear it is. I'm going to use exactly one teaspoon. Exactly. Right? And by that, I mean measuring spoon. I don't, I'm not speaking about uh, eating utensil. The scent is just really powerful. It's going to be some good notion ice cream I'm gonna put a bit of my uh, 
my essence in there also. My coloring, my full coloring, sorry about that. I'm still focused on that lovely peppermint. Uh, that lovely peppermint scent that we have. Just fill the kitchen. It smells really good. So you know some good quality stuff you got there. If I need more, I'll put more because it's, it's a spe specific or special color green, shade of green that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna put more, right? I don't want it that pale because it's still not even showing. But you don't want to overdo it either. So you want nice balance, like I said. So let's go again and let me see if I need a bit more and then I'm gonna show you all putting it in the pan and that's it. Still need a bit more, right? Because we are looking for, you know, that green. A lot of you know what that ice cream looks like that I'm speaking about. You know the green that the shade that you are looking for once it's once you are there. So you know exactly what you want to see, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the green that looks almost like pistachio. If you don't know what mint chocolate chip ice cream look like, not too much of a bright green, but you want it, you know, coming through nicely. So a bit more, nothing much. When I say a bit, I'm gonna use what I have on my tasting spoon now. Just a bit more. You all see how I'm adding it in bits and portion, right? Because I don't want too much of a green, green ice cream. So I always tell you all, start by adding little and then, you know, you can always increase. Don't just add all at once. Right, so there is where I want to, to leave it. There is where I'm going to leave it. It's time for me to get it in the pan. Right, so here is where I want to leave it. So you see that color? so good it's, it looks just gorgeous right so i'm gonna get it into the can directly some persons will use parchment paper in their pan some persons will i'm telling you all you know i cover all my bases with you all right let me just clean the counter the green is all over yeah some persons gonna put um parchment in the pan and so forth right you don't want to ever try to add all your toppings when you when you are, when the ice cream is a liquid form still, right? Take that tip. So I'm just gonna add only half of the semi-sweet chocolate chips. And when we are almost between frozen and still somewhat soft, I'm gonna add the rest. So you're gonna have to look out for things like that, right? So this much is what I'm gonna start by adding. And like I said, I'm gonna put the rest when I'm almost um, set, when the ice cream is almost set, right? It looks just so good. Right, and it's that easy to get no chill ice cream. This easy. And you will absolutely love the taste of it. It's really, like I said, it's like a premium. It's like a premium ice cream, right? You all know Food by Charmian is all over social media. You all know we are on Instagram. You all know we are on Facebook. And we have the YouTube channel, of course, all under one name, Food by Shamion. If you want to come into direct contact with me, there's an email address for the business, which is for by Shamion at gmail.com. You can also reach me on this. E this the, there's an next email address for the business, which is Shamion at food by Shamion. Right? Uh, let me just say a bit before I go. If you want your ice cream a lot sweeter, use a next can. Feel free. But like I said, using two cans, it was just a bit too sweet for my teeth. And keep in mind, this contains chocolate chip, right? So you want to take all things into consideration when you are doing any cooking whatsoever. All right, guys, the pleasure is my own. I'll be with you all soon.